Hi everyone, Jorgelina here. Thank you so much for being here. Whether this is your first time, your second time, or you've watched all of my videos, I am so excited that you have decided to click on this one. Today is going to be a handbag related video. Actually, I'm going to be talking about small leather goods. I'm sure you saw that on the title and in the thumbnail. But as always, I would love to ask you to join my little growing family and join me on this journey of mine. I am so super close to hitting 2,000 subscribers. I still, every time I say that, I just can't believe it. I get closer and closer um, every single video and it means so much to me that you watch even a second uh, of what I have to say. I am a very, very passionate teacher. If you are here for teacher content, don't forget to take a look at that awesome teacher playlist. That is, that is where I keep those videos. I also go live for teacher content as much as I can. I teach math, but the activities can be used for any subject, any grade level. And I have been getting so many compliments on those that I absolutely love how many people are using them. Everything that you find in those videos is completely free to use for your classroom. Just let me know how you're using them because I really genuinely care and I love to see the reach that these activities have had. Anyway, with all of that, today we are going to be comparing two SLGs, uh, one versus the other, Coach versus Louis Vuitton. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I was asked and I have both of them in my collection. So I'll give you a little bit of a story time and then at the end, I will let you know which one is my favorite as usual. So these are both mine and let me go ahead and grab them. All right, so this is the two of them. They are very, very, very similar, and we are going to get into all of that in just a second. But first, let's get the name. I am going to go really close into the camera and kind of give you a little spin of each and the measurements, and then we will get into just more of a side-by-side -side comparison. This is the coach one. This is called the Essential Small zip around car case. It has the zip around zipper. <laughs> this is in the little gem one. It's all bedazzled and amazing. This is the current wallet that I am in. I don't want to go too much because I don't know what you'll be able to see and I definitely don't want all my personal information out there. <laughs> but this is it. The measurements are very, very similar. This one has a bottom here uh, length of 4.25 inches and a height of 2.75 inches. And then it has a depth right here of 0.75 inches. So a little bit less than an inch. Has a lot of give. All right, so that is the coach one. And now we're gonna look at the Louis Vuitton one. All right, this one is called the Multi Carts. It is no longer available on the website. It's actually been discontinued, but you can find them all over the place at the pre-sale, um, in the pre-sale market. It's also a zip around. It is one piece of canvas. That is why on one side it is upside down, similar to the Speedies. I am not using this one at the moment, so I'm happy to open it. <laughs> there is that accordion style. So lots and lots of room. Just like the Coach one, the Louis Vuitton multi Carts has a base length of 4.25 inches. So exactly the same. It has a height of 2.75, so exactly the same. But this one does have a much bigger depth the depth on this one is 1.25 inches. So it's almost double. They're just off by a quarter of an inch uh, in double, right? So it would be uh, double if it were a quarter of an inch, inch thicker, it would be double the depth of this one. All right, now that I'm here and really close up, I will just show them side by side. So it's very clear to see here that um, the coach one is much, much thinner. Right, if I put them like this, I guess it's really hard to tell, but I also want to remind you that my coach one is full and this one's empty, 
right? So this is the thickness of it full. It, it is a lot thinner when there's nothing in it. Um, so that is the differences there. But when you go around like this, you definitely can see one from the other because they are the same size. So let's go ahead and compare the inside. I am going to take everything out of this one um, so that I don't have my cards in there. <laughs> okay, this one's empty now. So I just wanted to show them side by side when I have them fully open. This one does have a lot more compartments. The Louis Vuitton one, see? A lot more compartments. I don't know if I really need that many compartments, but this one does. They do open the same though. Like I can get as many things in here as I can in here. So yeah, pricing is completely different. You can get these for $75. Uh, they uh, start at 75 and they go up to 95 I believe, depending on what you get. There's a ton of different options. Um, so they were, are always under 100 and they also go on sale quite a bit. So, you know, Black Friday's coming. I'm sure you'll be able to find these uh, very cheap because this was the special edition uh, that sold out. I got this at Macy's or Dillard's. I don't remember, but I got, oh, at Macy's. My husband got this for me at Macy's. Uh, I bought the bag and he bought me the wallet. This was $95. Uh, so yeah, this was a present for my husband. It was available at Dillard's and at Macy's when we uh, purchased it, but it's since sold out. Uh, but there are a ton available in the market. This one, I believe it retailed for $350. I know that the first time that I saw this one was in Shay Whitney's channel. I will uh, link her video in the description from when I saw this. It was years ago. Um, I'm not really sure exactly when it was, uh, but it was 100% a few years ago. So I'll link that video in the description so that you can watch it. When she posted this, I really, really wanted it. Uh, but I actually never got it until recently. I actually picked this up this year from Candy. I got it um, in like new condition. It It's in very good condition. And I believe I got it for $300, I want to say. I remember it being like something I couldn't pass up because if you look at these and I'll link a couple of them down below, they won't be affiliate links because I'm not affiliated with uh, the real real or anything like that or fashion file, but I'll go ahead and just put the ones that I find. You can definitely find them on the resale market, but they are upwards, you know, close to $500. Uh, but so huge difference, right? I mean, 100, 500 less than 100 if you depending on what you choose more than 500 depending on the condition so there is a big price difference and i really do think that they accomplish the same exact thing um so right they do still open the same so basically if i just took one of these out right i i would have this one or, or two right if i took one or two out of these right there you go all right so Let's talk about which one is my favorite. I will say in this case, yes, the price doesn't make sense, right? This one's a much better price. If I didn't have this one, this one will would absolutely scratch this itch. Do I think I need both of them? No. This one came after, but I wanted this one because I just love the sparkles on it. So this is why my husband bought it for me. I really like the sparkles and $100 didn't seem like this insane amount of money. Um, and this one, though, it is something that I wanted for so long. Like it's one of the reasons why uh, like luxury YouTube really became my thing. Um, I definitely don't watch uh, Shay Whitney as much anymore, but it's mostly because she doesn't do a lot of Lux content. She does a lot more like she has a different uh, kind of bags, but that is why I watched her. It was all her Lux content at the beginning, and this always stuck around in my mind, and I wanted it since. And the hunt was like nearly impossible to find one at a price that I'd be willing to pay because, again, I don't like paying over retail. And I know that the retail for this was very low compared to what SLGs go for now, but I knew what they went for. So the fact that I was able to find it for that price. If I could do it again, if Candy had another one available or if 
I found it on the real real or something like that in this condition for that price I would absolutely 100% of the time go with this one and there's just something you know Louis Vuitton's my brand and that really is the only reason why I would choose this one I do think that they are both completely basically the same wallet uh, because I do I am confident that I can fit just as much in this one as I can in this one this one would stretch out a little and it would be okay but I also think that this one would fit in more bags because it is a lot slender um, it's a lot slimmer so I would definitely uh, again this one would have done this one's job I think I would have probably stopped looking for this one had I gotten this one first but this one came before and by using this one so much, I knew that this style works for me so well. So I hope that makes sense. Again, this would be my pick if I could find it for the price that I did, which was right around $300. I would not pay any more for this because this is available for 100 or less and it does its job. So anyway, I hope that these types of videos are useful. If you have any other comparisons that you would like to see, please let me know because I'd be more than happy to do them. That's why I picked these two up uh, to do today's. I hope you found this video entertaining. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button, I would love it if you do. And I can't wait to see you on the next one. Bye.